Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a, a couple of months. I think that it's always interesting to see what the students can do when they have kind of a chance to, to really dig into something that maybe they have never looked at before. I think for me, my favorite thing, it's purely selfish, but I like to see what the students can do two years or four years or five af years after they do exhibition. Because I, I saw what they did for exhibition, and I think this is 10 or 20 steps beyond what they did when they were in grade six. Uh, well, when Mr. Lee asked me, I was more than happy to. Uh, this is the second year that I've done it. I did it uh, not last year, but the year before. And I think it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for, uh, for the community and for anybody that's interested in science to come out and see what the girls are doing. Um, see about how they're learning about scientific process and the scientific method and what interests them as, as people, not just what's going on in the science classroom. The most important thing about the science fair and uh, when we introduced it like four years ago was uh, to raise awareness about science in Satan and to show the girls that oops, they, uh, they can really do extraordinary things with science and um, even though it's an it's a all-girls school, science is, is making a real like, present, presence like, in, in the student's life here. Our experiment is about um, when we first explored nylon and to see uh, and synthesize our own nylon, which is actually this thing right here. And then what we investigated was whether nylon, uh, uh, nylon strength uh, changes according to the heat I added to it. And so in our experiment, we put nylon into a Ziploc bag and put it in different temperatures. So for example, if it was um, below zero, that would be in the fridge. And then we also put it in boiling water. So it's from zero degrees to 100 degrees. So we tested the nylon after it's being put in that temperature and see if the strength has changed. Our, well, we did two experiments. Well, basically, we tried to disprove the idea of mermaids that they can't exist, and if they were to exist, they would look like this, really ugly. And then, improving, we did two experiments as well as further research, and the two experiments are about hypothermia and pressure. So we experiment what would happen in cold temperatures and what would happen in deep depth, or will our body be able to survive? I think science is crazy because. When you think about how everything is created or how everything is made, it, it all ends up to science. So it's like crazy how it's all science. Science is complicated. Science is evidence. Science is the discovery of new ideas.